Hello again, this is Larry LPC Digital. Just doing a quick look at the uh, Clevo P375 SM or Sager NP9390 model. And this is just going to be a very quick look. A uh, fuller review will be later on. So let's look at the first page of the BIOS. And here you see very similar to uh, what's shipped in the last year or so, the way it's laid out. This particular model has the 240 Intel SSD in slot one there. And you'll see there's six uh, SATA ports there. And the uh, Blu-ray reader drive in SATA port two. And then this has the 4800MQ processor, which uh, goes up to 3.7 on the boot gigahertz. And then this model has the 16 gig memory. And of course, the 780M. Not only one, but dual 780Ms in SLI in this model. And there you see the motherboard version, <clears throat> BIOS version, and the BIOS version, dates and such. The first page. And then uh, it's all very similar to what you've probably already seen. The second page. Boot option priorities. And then there you go very uh, standard BIOS and now we're going to take a look at some of the physical characteristics get the uh, basic uh, look that way in just a moment so as usual you get um, the media software Cyberlink for your DVD or Blu-ray playback and your drivers and utilities disk is always included and the user manual for the model P375SM or Sager NP9390 and here's the little bracket package it comes in a little plastic bag this is for when you install your second hard drive and the power brick. Let's turn it over and get some specs off it. This is the 330 watt output. Of course it'll do more than that. It's been proven to do more than that. And here are some of the specs. The Delta 330 for this model. It's a tad smaller than the older series. Not much, a little bit smaller. And now let's move on to the model itself and get a little bit of the texture. I'm doing this outside again to just get a little better um, lighting so you can see some of the features a little bit clearer. And here's the right side. See the Thunderbolt there at the end. USB 3s, the SATA combo uh, USB 3, and your optical drive bay. This one has the Blu ray reader drive.
Here's a little look at the left side. Your LAN, your lock, your little mini card reader, and sound ports and such on this side. And here's the front look. And there's the uh, camera on the back of the lid. And you got your rear vents. HDMI, USB 3, your power input, another USB 3, and it's a cool running beast in the test so far. And we turned it over to see the bottom side. Got a little piece of paper there for the serial number to cover that. And this model, that's where it's at. Some models, it's under the battery and other places. And there's the subwoofer. It looks impressive from the outside. <laughs> we will test it. And there, of course, is fan one there. You see the heat sink assemblies. And another uh, place for a fan and another fan. A lot of hardware under there that we'll look at in just a moment. And there's your battery compartment right there. And we'll take these uh, access panel covers off. And look, we'd be amiss if we didn't, wouldn't we? Just like a mechanic on a car. you got to look at the engine, right? Well, that's the way you feel about our notebooks. So we'll look at that in just a moment. So here we are with the access panels uh, removed, exposing where the battery goes in. This is the battery slot. And here is the battery that is shipping, as you can see. It's a P375 bat, and 89.21 uh, hours. There's some of the specs. And here is the Blu-ray reader drive that's shipping with this now. It's the UJ160, which is uh, updated over last year's model. And so we'll start on the left side, I guess. There's the subwoofer. And right next to it is the Wi Fi card slot. And this one has the Intel 6300 in it. You can see how easy it is to access it and to clip on the three uh, connectors. Easy job. And right above there is your fan, number one fan and uh, vent system in the back, all the tubing, and right under there is one of the 780M video cards. Lots of power. Just one of them is lots of power. And right here is the MSATA slot. You can see that. You can, you can read it on the motherboard there, MSATA. And right above there, of course, is the uh, first uh, GPU. Then you go right, just right of the first GPU, 
there is the another uh, fan assembly and under there is the CPU the CPU and the vent assembly in the back we'll get a better look at the back in a second here so the CPU is basically in the middle area of the unit there's the memory slots the RAM slots there's two slots under the keyboard and so very easily you can add two more right now there's 16 to 8 gigabytes under the uh, keyboard and there's two more slots 32 gigabytes you could put in this very easily just by taking off about four or five screws this access panel comes right off and here is GPU number two yes another 780 M under the hood so to speak get a better shot of the copper tubing and the rear ventilation fan the other 780 right under there So quite a quality look to it, it really does, a lot of thought went into the designing of this. When you have this much power, really, you got to have good cooling and you got to give, give thought to how you design it. I think Clevo did a very nice job with this. Let's look at it from the rear. Uh, here's a rear look with the covers removed. You can see the nice uh, vent systems, fans. Got to release that exhaust. Very nice, very nicely done. Again, this is just a quick look, some of the hardware, get, get some of the uh, idea of what this looks like in uh, pretty good lighting. And some of the video is out there, you can't really see it as well. But here it is, the new Clevo P375SM slash Sager NP9390. I think it's going to be a very excellent machine for this year's release. That's all for now. Look for a full review coming very soon. Thank you all. Oh, I misspoke. Spoke. I forgot to show you the hard drive slot. There is um, for the, your two, two and a half inch uh, hard disks or SSDs to go in this slot here forgot to take the cover off. Anyway, easy to access with the four screws. And you can see the first uh, bay number one is the lower one. And then you can put your other uh, S uh, SSD number two, or hard drive number two right there. Anyway, now that's it. Signing out. Thanks.